Hi guys, we're back and today we're going to do something that is essential to get the game to have a nice feel. We're going to implement a screen shake. So we want to create a screen shake um, whenever you hit an opponent uh, so that it feels like uh, the punch or the hit has more impact. So let's get started. Code with Victor. Code with Victor. Uh, so this is where we are. So we have our uh, camera here. So for the screen shake, I'm thinking that we want to uh, move the camera. Um, so we can do that in the on update function. But first of all, um, let's set some reference value. So Let's set an actual position here, actual X, actual Y to zero. Um, I will split this here. So we have the actual and then here uh, we can set our, uh, we have a reference to our camera. So let's do that equals X. So the reason I'm setting um, a base value for x is because the shake will be like a random value and we don't want the camera to keep moving actually let's uh, let me show you how that will look first of all um so let's say our camera shake is at uh, 10 maybe and then uh, we'll just add to the x position uh, we have the camera x position plus uh, camera shake and the camera shake will be a little bit random so let's multiply with the random and let's see what happens now so now it will keep moving and that's not <laughs> really what we want we don't want the camera to move away we want to keep seeing our characters so if we instead use the actual x that i set up uh, then it will just shake on the spot. So for now, we won't actually uh, change these values, but in a upcoming video, uh, we'll move the camera to always show all the characters like they do in Super Smash. So um, you could also see when we had this, that it always moved the right, but we want it to be more like, um, not only shake to the right, but also uh, like in all directions. So first of all, to the left, and we could do like, um, because math random is a value between zero and one, we could simply do like minus 0 0.5. So then it would uh, go from uh, minus 0 0.5 to uh, plus 0 0.5. And we can see here that it goes back and forth a bit, um, but it's still a little bit too much for what we want. You can see now it's starting to get a little bit too much to the left. So if you use the actual X, then it will uh, keep our reference point here. And we'll do the same for uh, Y. Now we got a, a really good camera shake. So this looks kind of like an earthquake, <laughs> which isn't quite what we're after. Um, but if we set, I think we have like a game state, right? Um, yeah, there game state. So the camera shake should be in the game state, first of all. So, uh, game state, game state. Okay. So it still works. Okay, great. So now if we set this back to zero then it won't shake and then we just want to add to this uh, whenever we hit an opponent so let's go into our is it bullet or maybe yeah actually it's probably on hit uh, so we have this uh, hit function of course where uh, where we hit someone uh, do we have a reference to game state here uh, we have it in up State. Let's see. In bullet, do we have a reference to game state? Hmm. 
You know what? Actually, we can do this in bullets because we have reference to game state here. So uh, this is when our bullet hits a character. So let's just do game state um, dot camera shake and then add some value to it. Uh, let's see, 20 maybe because the power here is 20. Maybe that is a bit too much. Let's see. Uh, oh, let's see. It's uh, immediately reset, looks like. Uh, oh, because the game state here. Mm hmm. Okay, because the game state here is, of course, reset every time a new bullet appears. Uh, that's not quite what we wanted. So um, let's create a new <laughs> game state. So if we do like global uh, game state, maybe. And we use a reference, a uh, React reference here as well. So uh, we call it camera shake. Uh, let's see if it works first. So uh, we'll use that instead of setting it there and maybe actually we can have a function here add to camera shake um, mount and here we can add to uh, global game state ref current camera shake mount and then global game state ref current camera shake okay like that let's see yeah okay cool that works and uh, let's see here add to camera shake okay okay great so but now it's like a constant shake which uh, also isn't what we want so let's just um have like a decrease of it here. Uh, we can just do like multiply by 0 0.9 or something. Let's try it. Um, uh, maybe times delta. Uh, let's see what is delta. Right. Oh, camera shake. Okay. Yeah, okay. maybe that could work. Maybe it could actually re get removed a little bit quicker. It should be just like a hint of shake. So now you can like feel the hit a little bit more. Actually, maybe the shake is too much as well. Ah, you can uh, uh, go ahead and like try different values here to see what um, what uh, feels good for you. Um, but yeah, this feels pretty good for me at least. <laughs> um, actually, we can just do like power. Yeah, like that. So I think this uh, actually is it for uh, for this part. Another uh, quick one, but just to get a feel for uh, how you can do a simple camera shake. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, we should probably have a shake for when um, when you die. Actually, uh, so let's go into character again and hit. And we have, let's see, here at respawn, we could add like a camera shake to respawn, maybe a little bit higher. So it's like kind of an explosion when you, uh, when you die. Okay, <laughs> that looks uh, okay. So uh, that is it. So see you next time.